Hello, I hope you're doing great. Today I want to talk about the experimental mobile laser bindings. These bindings basically allow you to create mobile applications um, with laser. Uh, so you will see a project similar to the Samarin uh, projects, but they are using laser and you can create native components. Uh, this is actually based on Samarin forms, native UI components. Uh, you will see that here, for example, we have a, a code for a mobile based uh, binding where you can actually bind the XML components and use the blazor code. Here is an example of how the application is shown in the Android emulator. Uh, you'll see that here you have the native UI, some of the code uh, in, in the uh, XML file. Um, you are able to inject also the um, whatever you need. This is an HTML UI definition. And this is pretty much uh, you will create a similar uh, Blazor uh, application. Uh, here is an example in iOS, and here are the tutorials on you can how you can create uh, an application with that. Here I have a sample application, which is basically derived from the um, template and you will see that it generates the hybrid app, the Android app, iOS app, the Mac OS app, and the Windows app, which I currently have it disabled because I'm on a Mac and it's not working on a Mac. Uh, okay, you will see that here we have um, pretty much the common initializations for an Android uh, and iOS form an iOS application. Uh, you will see that in here we have okay the app delegate, okay the app delegate is this one forms app and the app is actually defined in the hybrid application. You will see that it actually well it uses the .NET Core um, host, the builder. Uh, and then it creates a new content page, my application, and it goes to main. It says the parent is the main page, which is this one. Okay. And here we have a web UI folder where we are having all of our pages. You will see that in the app resor so we have the app cs right you said okay the main and all that and here we have ports the app resor app razor uh, main layout it's going to be the main layout for the road the social blazer the main layout we have in here and the rest is pretty much usual blazer and we have the pages the counter the fetch data the index should be promo all that that's basically the default uh, blazer template running in a mobile application with blazer bindings blazer mobile bindings so if i run this in the ios simulator uh, we will see that um, that application running. So, loads the application. We wait a couple of seconds for the deployment to be finished in the emulator. And you see that here we are shown the um, default, some default blazer template with some slight changes in an iOS application. So I can click the navigation bar, I can click the increment, I can go to take the survey, right, which is going to load the uh, browser. Uh, I 
can just cancel that and go back to the application it's actually able if I close Okay. Oh, there is the back. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, and yeah, we can go to the counter. We can keep clicking. We can go to the fetch data, and yeah, and basically, if you need to do any changes, you just can keep um, working as you will work in a Blazor application, adding new pages, adding new logic, uh, creating your your own components. Uh, invoking services, so that. So this is, as far as I know, this is still experimental, though it seems really, really useful because uh, it actually allows you to easily translate or reuse your Blazor and .NET Core skills uh, really easy in mobile applications. Um, I don't know what's um, what's going to happen to this in the future, but it actually seems really promising. Uh, as, as I said, it's still experimental. We don't know what is going to happen, but it actually seems really, really good. Um, if you want to play around with it, I will leave the um, URL for this in the video comments so you can check um, and play with it you will see that when you go to get started uh, it'll tell you what to do and it tells you what you need to install uh, this is to install the templates and then if you want you can do follow the uh, build your first app or build your first hybrid app uh, I went for the hybrid one when I created this because I wanted to check how the hybrid uh, how the hybrid worked and yeah you will see that's basically the one for the hybrid I'll leave the URLs in the description I hope this video has been useful for you uh, remember please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you are notified when new videos are uploaded share the channel share the videos also, write in the comments anything you would like to learn about .NET Core, Azure, and Unity 3D. Thank you very much and have a great day.